So the first question is something I think a lot of people who have been paying attention are curious. Uh, what's up with Wyoming? So IOH is moving to Wyoming. Does that mean the name of the company is changing to IOW? Uh, what are the details behind that? If you can uh, give us any well, information. Just... We're going to leave the name IOHK. It's it's a good brand and it's a good name. Logo's the same. Uh, the website's going to stay the same. So materially, nothing physical will change about the company, just the legal nexus of the company. Uh, there was a series of regulatory and tax changes as a result of the Trump tax cuts. And as a consequence, um, if you're operating a CFC abroad, uh, then uh, ordinarily pre-Trump tax cut, you could defer revenue or you know until you take the money home as a dividend. Um, Post-tax cut, they just make you take, assume you take 17 and a half percent of it home. Uh, so the tax delta between operating abroad and operating domestically was so small that to us it made more sense to onshore uh, meaningful components of our business. Uh, furthermore, we're growing considerably. We've gone from two people to 160 people, and we operate in some way in 16 countries. So the complexity of the business has gone up, and we're getting to the point where we'd like to start giving stock options to people and uh, other incentive packages. And so given that the dynamics of the business have changed and the regulatory environment has changed and the tax environment has changed, uh, at this stage in our evolution as a company, it, it makes sense for us to onshore and pull into the U.S. Uh, so then we had to kind of make a decision of which state to incorporate in. The canonical state is usually Delaware, uh, but you know the reality is tax rates in Delaware and Wyoming are exactly the same for corporate taxes. So you know, given that Wyoming is blockchain friendly and I can walk into the governor's office pretty easily and uh, say hi, and uh, they've made an active bid to welcome blockchain companies, we felt it would be good to reward the legislatures with uh, IOHK coming home. And actually, I think we're going to be the largest blockchain company in the state once we finish the movement. So it'll take some time, uh, and it's uh, certainly a lot of effort and a lot of paperwork to file and documents to handle. And uh, But overall, I think it's going to be good for the company and uh, help us get to the next stage in our evolution.